I made a pair of shorts using Megan Nielsen patterns. They're an Australian independent company. I made version one, which is the simple shorts with the rounded patch pockets. I used a fabric that's a Ponte Roma, which is left over from a previous make. And I gotta say, I really like how these turned out. Now, unusually, I am going to move on to showing you the insides first because there's a lot of shenanigans that are going to come up in this video and I basically spent most of the video just having so much fun with this. First of all, I did make an alteration. I moved the zipper to the side seam because you know I prefer a side seam zipper. So there's a lot of shenanigans coming up. So let me get onto the serious stuff first. So this is the inside shorts. Basically, I made the size small based on the body measurements that are actually on the pattern cover itself. The other alteration that I made was that I didn't put any lining in because I was using a pointy fabric, which I didn't feel needed to have a lining. The fabric recommendation for this pattern is actually for wovens. Now, obviously I used a pointy, but I didn't make any adjustments for negative ease or anything like that. I just cut it straight out as if I was cutting for a woven fabric. I did some understitching on the facing and I also tacked the facing to the dots and the side seams so that it stays in place. And you can see there, I actually interfaced some of those seams so that they've got a nice professional look, especially if you're going to be putting a zipper on knit fabric, it's important to stabilize that seam. And there was a bit of hand sewing around the invisible zipper installation. I'm very proud and very pleased with how these turned out considering that I was using a stretch fabric. It does not look stretched out at all. It's very, very nice looking. And I used an overlocker for just about everything else except for the hem when I used my sewing machine to do a simple zigzag stitch. And as always, I love sewing on my own personalized name brands. So this is look number one. I can't tell you how much fun I had shooting this video. I ended up just grabbing things because these shorts go with just about everything. I couldn't find my black tights. However, I need to buy a new pair of black tights because I do plan on wearing these with black tights for winter. So look number one is this simple cream top, which I've had for like years, but I've tucked it in and it just looks really nice and classy. Look number two, uh, same shoes, same shorts, but a stripy long sleeved t-shirt. And I think that it just gives it like a, a funky, funny vibe to it. I swapped out the shoes for some ankle boots as well. Again, you have to try and imagine that I'm wearing some black tights here because I have to buy um, a pair of black tights. And here's another simple knit top that just has like a band of coral at the bottom. And it just gives a splash of color. But I also love this look. It just, there's something so cute about circles and stripes. I think that it just works really, really well together. And I also thought I'd mix it up by using a hand knit garment. So this is a chuck sweater, which I knit up about two years ago. And I think it's also nice to have that pop of color. It's a very comfortable, very snug uh, winter. It's a wintry. It's a great wintry look, I think. Okay, I'm going crazy with the dancing. Crazy dancing, but that's because these shorts are so comfortable. I really have a great time when I'm wearing these shorts. And I also thought they'd go really well with the Talviki sweater. So the Talviki sweater is cream. So this is a very cool minimalist. I really like the minimalist vibe that I get out of this outfit. And of course the top is wool jersey and this is pointy. So it's sort of like a really perfect autumnal combination. And yeah. I just, this is one, uh, it, it's up there with one of my near favorites, but I like it even more with the knee length boots. So finally, look number six is with a black roll neck top. Now this is one of my favorite uh, roll neck tops and it's a Berta style pattern, but I think that this really goes well with these shorts. And I just want to say that I found the sizing to be pretty true to size. Like I said, I selected the size small based on my body measurements, uh, specifically my waist and hip measurements. And I feel like the size is pretty spot on. 
the sizing range is from extra small to extra large and the PDF came together really well because I got the PDF. They also have an app in the app store, which I think is pretty awesome where you can basically access all of your Megan Nielsen sewing pattern instructions and any additional features, which they tend to do for some of their patterns. They also have an incredibly detailed sew along on the blog. I'll put the links in the description box down below. What I really like about particularly version one is that it does have this minimalist vibe going with it because it doesn't have the waistband and then you've got the patch pockets. You could make it without the pockets, but I'm not sure that I do that myself because I think pockets are everything. Will I be making this pattern again? Absolutely. I have actually cut out um, one using a woolen fabric, which is like a tartan fabric. And I think that's just going to be a really fun pair of shorts to wear in winter with uh, black tights or black leggings, but they just create a really wonderful look. And also for summer, I definitely look forward to making these in summer. In the meantime, you'll never guess who turned up while I was recording and we just had a blast having a dance. So I'm going to give you a break from my voice while we just do a little bit of a, you know, dance break session. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching i really hope that you've enjoyed the video and also i would really love to know which one was your favorite look do you agree with the one that i said it's my favorite look let me know in the comments box down below if you haven't already please do subscribe for new sewing related videos every single week and until i see you next time happy sewing bye